Hi guys, all the way from Shanghai. Uh, this is the uh, programmer that uh, I ordered a, a week or ten days ago. Just arrived, so I thought we'd have a, a quick peek and uh, see what's in it. First look at it. If, uh, if everything goes to plan, this could well be the, uh, the programmer that we recommend and sell on the uh, on the forum now. So we'll see. Well, <laughs> just like some other spares companies, there's a free gift in there, and it looks like it's a. Uh, well, I don't know. I'm going to take it out of the bag and and show it to you. See what you think it is. Looks like it's a. Uh, I don't know, a, a boot with a couple of bits, a couple of knots on the end and a, a knot tied in the top and you just hang it somewhere. <laughs> oh dear. Great. All the way from China. <laughs> I'll hang it somewhere in the workshop. <clears throat> right, now the important stuff. That's the actual programmer. That's the uh, TL866, and I think this is the A version. It's got the uh, uh, in-circuit serial programming uh, socket on the end. Hopefully, if we've been sent the right one. So that's that. And a small box there with. Some adapters in here. Okay, we've got some PLCC adapters. That is a PLCC 32. Have a closer look. fairly well made, looks like it's been hand soldered. So that's the, uh, the 32. Uh, we've got another 32 there, although it's uh, on a different board, I'm not quite sure what that's all about. This one's got a little jumper in on the side there, I think you can probably see. And then we have a PLCC 44 to 40 pin dip converter. That's that one. The programmer is uh, 40 pin, so uh, that obviously converts the chip to go onto the adapter with fewer pins. Then we have, well, again, hand soldered. I'm assuming that is for mounting ICs directly. So you've got two sets of lands there that you could actually solder an IC to. So we we'll have to see what that. So we we'll have to see what that, that's actually for. And then another one here. This is a uh, SOP 816 to dual in line 16. And if, again, there's two sets of lands there. Very small one at the bottom, and then the larger size at the top there. So again, all hand soldered. Not a problem though, I don't think. So that's that. I think this is the uh, separate set of adapters that I ordered. This will handle the TSOP 
chips that we have got this for. Oh, it's quite a range in there. There you go, loads of them. Alright, this one is the TSOP 32, 40 and 48 uh, adapter. Again, definitely hand soldered. Get that, see if that will focus close up. Just on a second board, so uh, it will actually plug in to the adapter. Sorry, to the programmer. You can see when I push the clips in, the pins all spring back, and that will take the uh, 32, 40, and 48 pin TSOP uh, IC. So yeah, I can't believe how cheap these were. Compared to, you know, prices in this country or, or, or elsewhere on eBay. So that's that. <clears throat> Alright, this next one is... Uh, again, it's TSOP 3240 and 48, but this time it looks like you can um, actually solder chips to it and two different sizes as well. There's markings on there uh, to show you where to line up the, the, the ICs. Okay, I don't really know why you would want to solder things onto this board when you've got the, uh, the other one where you can just pop them in and out. But uh, yeah, I'm sure there's, a, sure there's a reason. Right. Next adapter. Oh, and I suspect actually this is base for this, <clears throat> yeah of course it is, look here, yeah. the, um, the back of that adapter has just got the, the little sockets there and this particular one, that goes into the programmer and then uh, you just plug this into here like that, he says, yeah like that, so that just plugs in and then it will go straight into the uh, into the programmer. So yeah, so that's that. Next one looks like a similar adapter, but uh, this time it's. Let's have a look. Oh, okay. This one is a TSOP32 adapter, this is a TSOP40 adapter, this one here, same as the other one, and, uh, and this last adapter has been plugged into this, and that's a TSOP48 adapter with uh, some ICs on there and an LED, so obviously a bit more work to, uh, to get the, uh, the TSOP and the SOP44 uh, IC is working on a 40 pin uh, programmer and, uh, and this is a SOP44 adapter I don't know whether you can see that but the pins just release a little bit when I'm pushing that down same layout and that just needs to push onto the uh, onto this adapter board Now what I don't seem to have is the um, is the adapters for our standard EEPROMs that uh, this should have um, should have come with. Unless I'm being incredibly stupid. Maybe they're in the uh, maybe they're in the programmer box. I hope so. Otherwise this will have gone pear shaped. Oh yeah, there's a whole load of adapters in there. 
So if I just push these out of the way for the moment, we have uh, what looks like a Chinese business card. <laughs> Not much use to us, but uh, yeah, Chinese business card. A little bit of card. Some adapters there, which we'll run through in a second. Nope, another one there. Right, so tiny little driver CD. We have a USB cable. This is the uh, IS, uh, ICSP uh, connection. This is a slightly more expensive model that comes with this, uh, but I've needed it for uh, my Arduino and Pickaxe uh, projects. So I thought it would be best to just you know pay a little bit of extra and, uh, and go for that version. And uh, they've sent us a little IC uh, removal tool. So you already got one of these, but uh, nice to get it in the kit. And that's that. Now, these adapters we have. This one looks like the standard EEPROMs that you might get in a Samsung TV. And every, everyone that's got the, uh, the GQ4X and other programmers will, uh, will recognize uh, this one. So that's that. Um, actually, one of these is for the W25X32 series. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's that one or not. I'll just have to get one of the ICs out and uh, see which one it fits. So, yeah. Let's see if I can read what that says on there. It's not obvious which is which, but that's those two. We have another one. I'm not entirely sure what I see is that's for, but it's absolutely tiny. That's fitted on a double circuit board to allow it to go into the programmer. That really is a very small I see that would go in there. And this last one, again, yeah, bigger chip, don't know what it is. I don't think it's one we need to program at the moment, but nice to have all these adapters, especially at the price. Now I think I've just paid for all of this slot about £110, um, so you know, I think that's pretty, pretty cheap. Well, this is the programmer. I think later on I'll just uh, plug all this into the computer and install the software and I'll just show it to you working. I'm really interested in to see the programming times compared to the, uh, the GQ4X. This is pretty heavy actually. I'm, I was expecting this to be really nasty and cheap and that's quite heavy and fairly nicely made. It's uh, called a Mini Pro. Um, and we've got power and run LEDs there, 40 pin ZIF socket there, on the sides of the USB connection, that's the in circuit serial programming port. And on the back we've just got the label in Chinese with a website address there. So. Uh, quite impressed so far. Pin one is uh, shown on the uh, adapters, which is handy, and uh, there's markings. You can just see it just here, showing you the uh, the chip orientation. So yeah, that will just slot in there and uh, lock in place like that. 
for the money I'm, uh, I'm pretty impressed I have to say. So I'm going to connect this up to the, uh, uh, the computer uh, as off the top of my head I think this was uh, compatible with all versions of, uh, of Windows and also uh, all 32 and 64 bit versions so there should be absolutely no issues uh, with this at all and uh, I'll probably pop this apart on another video and just have a look what's inside it and do the same with the GQ4X but at the price that this is I think the GQ4X is possibly history um, the, pro, the software seems to be updated on this from time to time uh, which is good uh, it covers 12,000 plus different devices um, so yeah this could well be the uh, the one that takes over from the GQ4X so we'll see we'll put it through its paces later on and uh, I'm really interested in the programming speed the GQ4X on the 25X series chips it can take you know sort of four or five minutes to uh, to read and uh, sorry write and verify so we'll see if this is uh, is any quicker. So that's it. Just a quick unboxing video of the uh, the Mini Pro TL866. Oh, I thought this was an A version, but uh, it is. Yes, it's the TL866A. The non-A version does not have this uh, in-circuit serial programming uh, port on there. Probably not important for most of the guys, but it was for me, so I paid a little bit extra. So we could have actually got this whole setup for you know, probably around eighty pounds ridiculously cheap <laughs> i've seen i've seen these tsop adapters uh, at more than that for just one one adapter so that's uh, yeah that's pretty impressive right that's it as i say just a quick uh, unboxing video and uh, we'll be uh, we'll be back with a plugged in uh, test and uh, we'll we'll go from there Thanks for watching. Catch you later.